Hi, this is Don Willis. I'm here again today to talk about another fantastic Legend Rare Coins auction. This will be the Regency auction number 13. It's going to be held at the Venetian, the Marcello Room 4402 on September 3rd. Lot viewing is going to be in the Delfino Room number 4005, Tuesday from 3 to 6 by appointment only, Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. by appointment only, and then Wednesday from 11 till 6, as well as Thursday from 10 to 4, we'll have general lot viewing. Lot pickup will be Friday in Delfino 4005 from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So this is going to be a terrific sale. There's a lot of really cool collector coins in here. One of the focuses of the sale is the Bob Simpson $10 Liberty set, uh, all of which is being sold at no reserve. Over half the coins, as a matter of fact, in the sale have no reserve. So let's take a look at a few of them. All right, let's start with lot number one. It's an 1811 half cent in PC Just AU55. The 1811 is one of the scarcer classic half cents. As a matter of fact, most of the coins are far below AU55 in grade. This coin is really sweet. It's got a fantastic strike, virtually no marks. It's got a nice, even chocolate brown cover. Really a great example of this tough date and one that's sure to generate a lot of interest, particularly because this coin is being sold with no reserve, so check it out. All right, let's take a look at lot 14. It's an 1858 Flying Eagle, one cent piece, large letters, and it's graded PCGS MS66+. Plus. It's one of the finest examples that we've ever seen of this date, succeeded by one or two we've graded in 67. An absolute gem for the, the date. And this coin is beautiful. It's got a little reddish tint to it, mostly gold, very well struck, very clear. The details in this coin are amazing. So this is something you want to look at. Again, this is another coin being sold by Legend with no reserve. Lot 31 is a 1955 double die Lincoln and it's in a PCGS AU58 holder. Uh, what a great collector coin this is. It's very clean, nice kind of mahogany brown, a little bit of blue actually in the uh, In God We Trust and around the rim. Very, very pretty coin. It's being sold with no reserve. So for all you Lincoln collectors, take a look. Let's take a look at lot number 44. It's an 1869 over eight, three cents silver. PCGS Proof 67 Plus. This is the finest example of this coin that we've graded. Pop one in 67 plus with nothing even close. The coin itself is beautiful. It has just gorgeous aqua blue, bird shell blue, turquoise toning throughout the obverse. And the reverse has the blue outer rim area go going into you know, the reds and violets and oranges and golds in the center. Really, really attractive. The surfaces are just about perfect, as you can imagine, from the 67 plus grade. It's a beautiful coin, and it's being sold with no reserve. So take a look. Next is lot 85. It's an 1800 drape bust dime of the JR1 variety, graded PCGS AU58. An 1800 has the heraldic eagle reverse, this coin is notorious for not coming in high grades. There's very few mint state examples. So an AU58 is quite a nice example of this uh, better date. The coin's being sold with no reserve. It's a really nice looking coin, great detail, kind of an orange, uh, yellow, golden toning throughout it. It's very, very attractive. And if you're collecting by type or collecting by series, this is certainly a coin you want to take a look at. Next up, we have to take a look at lot number 100. It's a 1918D Mercury Dime graded PCGS MS67 full bands. This is the finest 18D dime that we've ever graded. Uh, it's just fantastic. It's a blast white, blazing coin. The detail is phenomenal. The luster is tremendous. I mean, I don't know what other superlatives to say about this coin, other than it's absolutely fantastic. And it's the best one we've ever seen. So uh, the only other thing I can say is that it's being sold with no reserve. So if you're putting together a Mercury Dime set, you have got to look at lot number 100. Here's a real collector's coin. It's lot number 137. 
It's an 1815 over two bust half dollar, graded PCGS XF45. Boy, I can't believe how much the 1815 over two has gone up in value in the last few years. It's, it's just skyrocketing. This coin is a really nice circulated example of this tougher date. Light toning, mostly darker in the uh, protected areas amongst the lettering and the stars. It's kind of a light grayish tone overall. It's got very, very few marks. It's got great detail. It's a nice, strong XF45. Even better, the coin's being sold with no reserve. So for all you bus guys out there, all you half dollar guys, take a look at lot number 137. Let's look at lot 161. It's a 1918D Walking Liberty half dollar graded PCGS MS65. Uh, for starters, this coin's in an old green holder and it is exceptional. The luster that's popping off of these surfaces is just beyond belief. So bright, I mean, it's just incredible. The coin is very, very attractive. Uh, it's got, you know, just everything going for it that you'd want from a full gym walker. Not only that, but the coin is being sold with no reserve. So if you're putting together a set of gem walkers, which I did a long time ago and it's a lot of fun, take a look at lot 161. Lot number 195 is the first of several seated dollars. It's the first year of issue, 1840, and we've graded it PCGS AU58+. plus. Now for those of you who know, getting a 58 plus grade is pretty darn hard. Coin's got to look extra special to get that kind of a designation, and this coin certainly does. It's got some very, very attractive toning, a little bit of green, blues on the outside, coming into some oranges and golds in the center. You know, the typical toning pattern, very, very attractive. Nice bright luster underneath the toning. The strike is really strong. I mean, this coin barely misses being a mint state, and uh, if you're putting together an AU collection or you just want a nice example of a seated dollar, uh, here's a great coin to add to your collection. Uh, lastly, this coin is also being sold with no reserve, so it's uh, open season for everybody. As usual, Legend doesn't disappoint us and has a handful of beautifully toned Morgan dollars. One of them is lot number 214. It's an 1886 Morgan, which we've graded MS66. I mean, to say this coin is colorful is an understatement. It's got an amazing set of colors on the, on the obverse. The reverse is mostly silver with a little bit of toning around the edges, but the obverse has got greens and blues and reds and yellows and golds, and it's just phenomenal purples. And boy, you name it, it's just a wonderful coin. It looks fantastic, and as I sit here, I'm telling myself, gee, I'd really love to own this coin myself. Again, it's an 1886, it's in PCGS MS66, and it's being sold with no reserve. So take a look. Lot number 230 is another really nice early proof set that Legend is bringing to the market. It's an 1892 proof set graded PCGS proof 65 to 66. I mean, the coins look spectacular. The, the Indian scent is a Blazer, it's a 65 red brown. Lib nickel is beautiful, proof 66. The dime is a proof 66. The quarter is a proof 66. The half dollar is a proof 66. And the dollar is a proof 66. It's just an evenly matched original proof set, absolutely fantastic. This set as well, this lot number 230 is being sold with no reserve. So take a look. Let's take a look at lot 236. It's an 1847 New Orleans $10 lib. We've graded it MS64. It's one of Bob Simpson's coins, previously in David Hall's collection, and before that in Harry Bass's collection. So it has a very impressive pedigree. This coin is tied for the finest ever graded by PCGS. It's a lofty MS64 grade, and the coin is worthy of every bit of that grade. It's got a beautiful surface, golden yellow color, it's got excellent strike, lots of luster, very, very attractive coin. Obviously, the 1847 New Orleans is a better date. 
Uh, however, this coin, as all of the Simpson 10 libs, is being sold with no reserve, so take a look. Let's take a look at another one of Simpson's $10 libs. This is lot 254. It's an 1873 close three $10 Liberty that we've graded PCGS AU55. Again, this is part of the Bob Simpson collection and previously part of the David Hall collection. This is a very rare coin, uh, the mintage with a total of 800. It's seldom found in uh, high grades. I mean, actually above 55, there's uh, 258s and 160 that have been graded by PCGS. So this is one of the finer known examples that uh, we've ever seen anyways. It's a very nice original coin, very orange gold surfaces, uh, lots of strong detail. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, very impressive example of this tough date and the coins being sold without reserve. So this is just another one of many coins that are being sold in this auction that were consigned by Bob Simpson. It's a really wonderful group of $10 lips. So take a look. Lot 314 is a very rare 1870 Carson City $5 gold piece. It's graded PCGS XF40. Now this is a very, very scarce coin and seldom seen above, let's say, very fine. Uh, XF coins are better, are very, very difficult to locate. Mintage was over 7,000. There's probably less than 100 known. This coin is, it's really, really attractive. I love this coin. It's, it's a beautiful orange gold, and it's got kind of a little wood grainy feel to the toning. Not, not the wood grain that you'd see on an Indian penny, but gives me that feeling. It's just really, really attractive. It's a rich toning, orange gold toning. So it's uh, very, very attractive. The strike is very nice, a uh, minimal amount of marks. Again, it's a very scarce example of this better date and something that doesn't turn up very often. So if you're, if you're looking for an 1870 CC5, here's your chance. It's being sold with no reserve. Good luck. Finally, let's take a look at lot 351. It's an 1883 Hawaiian dollar graded PCGS MS65. This is one of the most colorful examples of, Haw of a Hawaiian dollar that I've ever seen. The toning is just spectacular. There's the blues and golds and reds and uh, you know all kinds of variations of color throughout the obverse. The strike is just super strong. The details are very, very well contrasted against the toned surfaces. Lots of luster, a little bit of speckled toning throughout the obverse. The reverse is equally beautiful. It's got some incredibly blue centers surrounded by golds and reds and oranges and so forth. Just spectacular. For a wonderfully toned Hawaiian dollar, lot 351 is a great choice. Okay, there's a few highlights from the sale. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll be excited to be there. I think there's a lot of great collector coins, as I said earlier. Again, the sale is going to be on September 3rd at the Venetian in Las Vegas. Uh, in room 4402, that's Marcello, room 4402, at 5 p.m. The lot viewing, once again, will be in the Delfino room, 4005, on Tuesday from 3 to 6 by appointment only, on Wednesday from 9 to 11 by appointment only, and then Wednesday from 11 to 6, and Thursday from 10 to 4, general lot viewing. Lot pickup will be Friday in Delfino 4005 from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's going to be another great sale by legend, 356 really interesting lots, and I hope to see you there.